gentlemen. Okay, James here. Now, I'm over here at the Lincoln National Forest in New Mexico. Very beautiful area. I'm just taking a little rest. You know, me and my girlfriend are just exploring around here. And I decided to just take advantage of this environment, this beautiful scenery, and just take a couple videos, shoot a couple videos. So for this one, it's going to be my EDC winter update. Now, for those of you who don't know, EDC stands for Everyday Carry. So it's the items you carry every day. Um, now, you don't have to be an outdoors person or a gun person to have an EDC. Most people, you know, their EDC is their wallet, their keys, a, a woman's going to have her purse. So everyone has an EDC and then it just, you know, it starts variating depending on, you know, your age, what you do for a living, what you do for hobbies. So this is just going to be my winter update EDC. So this is just going to be what I'm going to be carrying most likely for the rest of the year until it gets warmer again. So obviously a coat is going to be needed. Now this is just a basic Target coat. It's, I bought it at Target. It's no fancy Gore-Tex, state of the art. You know, I just, I like it. It's simple. It keeps me warm. And it comes with these pockets on the side where I place some fingerless gloves from Target. I probably bought them the same day. I bought them last year. And I like fingerless gloves because, well, I like to keep my hands warm. But at the same time, I don't like where it affects my de dexterity. So I don't like wool gloves or mittens. So it's not even too cold in the southwest anyway. So this is fine for me during the colder months. So obviously that's going to be the biggest addition or change to my EDC gear is gloves and a coat. I also happen to have a coat knife. Now this knife doesn't really see too much action during the summer months. So it's always here on my coat. And that's the Wenger Ranger Wood 55, a gorgeous gentleman's knife. Walnut scales, a good size full flat grind knife, and it's some sort of stainless steel. It's really nice. Press this button down and you can close it in. It has a large saw. Bottle opener, flathead screwdriver. Wire stripper, can opener, an awl, and I find this a very useless tool because I don't drink wine. And even if I did drink wine, I really wouldn't be doing it while I'm practicing outdoors skills. So, um, you know, if it's your taste, but corkscrew. And that's about it, but it's a really beautiful knife, really nice. It's always in my coat. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get started on this EDC. Okay, so the newest addition is that Wenger knife. Okay, another difference here is my sheath for my ferro rod. Now you've seen this ferro rod before. It's the large six inch South Reliance Outfitters ferro rod but the sheep was changed up a little bit. Normally, during the warmer months, I do have this more basic one, just nice and simple, and I hide this under my shirt. But during the colder months, I don't really mind uh, showing it off. Not that I'm showing it off, but it can be covered by the coat. So I have this Wolf Customs, made by Mr. Justin Wolf, a craftsman, an artist, if I may say so myself. It's really nice, and I just place it here. And I, I really just have it out in the open. I don't really hide it. Once again, in case I really want to just be more discreet about it, I just cover it on my coat. And it's really nice. So, there we go. Okay. Notebook and pen. Once again, very simple. It works for me. I don't really feel like I need a write in the rain notebook or anything like that. This has worked fine, basic, nothing fancy about it. In fact, this is probably the same notebook that I've been using since my last EDC video. Uh, I just use the crap out of my notebooks. I just write, you know, if I fill up a page, I write on the page behind it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it actually it is. I recall showing you guys my Jurassic Park T-Rex sketch, and it's there. It's a little beat up. Obviously, the, the notebook has uh, it's gotten wet with rain and, you know, the elements, the sun, but it's still there. It's still a very basic notebook, so I really don't think I need to spend extra money on, you know, something like Ride in the Rain. To be honest, it's just my, my opinion. So, notebook and pen. Just writing, you know, to-do lists or ideas for videos or I work on other projects unrelated to bushcraft. So, you know, it helps me just 
brainstorm a little bit, keep track of my ideas. Chapstick, basic chapstick, I mean, it's not only for your lips, we've already discussed this plenty of times, you know, with the other uses of chapstick. So I'm really not gonna go into detail there, but it always helps out to have it. My keys, basic key setup, nothing different. I still have the P38 can opener, military can opener. And everyone should have this. You just never know, you know, a tornado or anything, you know, you're, you're on a road trip. It just never hurts to have some sort of can opening. I mean, you can find a way, you can ask someone, but I mean, just have it on you, it weighs nothing. My hip pouch, well, you've seen this a million times in my videos. I have my small flashlight here, MicroStream, the Streamlight MicroStream flashlight. Like I said, I don't really change my stuff too often. I'm not the kind of guy that changes my stuff every week. If something works for me, it works for me. And I don't replace it until it's practically just dragging off me or it's broken. So you're going to be seeing these quite, you know, quite often. A small backup ferro rod. Now, this is a cheapy ferro rod I got from Dick Sporting Goods, just about six bucks. The handle broke on the first time I even tried using it. So I just put a little pen top so it just holds on to my pouch here. My Victorinox one-handed tracker. This is my EDC knife. I will have a video on this coming up soon. This knife has been with me before any of this other equipment has been with me. I love this blade. I think it's damn near perfect for an EDC scenario, an EDC tool. It has a quick opening knife. It's partially serrated. I know a lot of guys won't like that. You can get it completely, you know, a, a straight blade. You don't really need to get the serrated one. A little bit more pricey, but if that's your thing. I personally, I've realized since I have blades on me, I don't really need to. Okay, so I have a cap lifter that helps when I'm lifting glass at work sometimes. I have a bottle opener and a wire stripper. And I've also made a modification. I've flattened this out with the file so it can strike a ferro rod. So that way I have the, you know, I have the option of using this in case I was to lose my main knife or whatever the case may be. Quick little couple seconds of work and you got it. So I might, you know, this also has a the option of striking fire. Now it's stainless steel, it's not carbon steel, so I can't hit it with the rock, but that's all right. Toothpick, tweezers, so when you have those nasty little thorns. And I have just a little paracord here. Uh, it helps me out sometimes when I'm playing with my cat. You never know on your everyday. I mean, you got to play with the cat sometimes. So I have my Swiss Army knife there. And for comparison, in case anyone's curious, the Wenger is larger. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I showed off also the Phillips screwdriver back here and the awl. For drilling holes in leather or through wood. This helps me out when I'm making rat traps. Okay, my wallet, you've seen it before. Same, you know, things everyone carries in their wallet. I'm not gonna go show that off, but then I have this small tool survival card my boss gave to me from work. A little saw, little can opener, bottle opener, a flat knife edge right here couple other tools it's also really good for striking so I don't to be honest I very seldom use this but it's always good to have it certainly doesn't hurt what else do I have here bandana 100% bandana 100% cotton I'm sorry about that that was really stupid so it's a quick little military camo I got this from Hobby Lobby for about a dollar and 100% uh, cotton. So if I needed to make char cloth out of this, that could, I could make char cloth out of this. If need me, I really don't have to, but in case of some really bad situation, you know, the bandana, we've discussed this before, it can be used for hygiene from cleaning your hands when you're working on your car to wiping your face when you're sweating, filtering water, putting this on the top of a lid to filter out water, keep out the nasties, the bugs and all that. So you're not carrying a bandana, I suggest you do so, it weighs nothing.
what else? My blade. Okay, so this is what everybody wants to see. Now, in my last video, my last CDC, I had the Condor cap part, and it was a decent knife. 1075 high carbon steel, cap part design, spear point, full flat grind, walnut handles, broomstick style handle, and a really beautiful leather sheath. Condor always makes some awesome leather sheets, but I, th I thought it was about time to upgrade, you know, since I'm doing this stuff almost on a daily basis at this point, bushcraft. So the 1075 would go dull quite quickly. Within about two days, it was already, you know, of hefty work. It needed to be sharpened. And that eventually gets old when you're doing this all the time. If you go out once a week and you come back, you can sharpen it, that's fine. But when you're, do when you're out, this, out here constantly, it becomes a hassle. So I decided to upgrade that. Also, I thought this was a little too round. Now I love the design in theory, but when it came to, at least for me personally, skinning game, this was a little too round for my taste. So I decided to update in every single sense of the word. This is an upgrade right here. LT Wright GNS knife. Man, this knife, I will be buried with this knife. I'll, I'm honest, right? I'm being honest right now. Love this blade. 01 tool steel, so it's definitely a, a higher quality steel. It keeps its edge longer. It's razor sharp. Razor sharp. Full 90 degree spine. This one, it came 90 degrees, but I mean, it's a factory made knife. I had to kind of hone it up a bit. This one, you do not. This thing is just solid 90 degrees. It's still a spear point like this one, but it has a more of a dagger, like it, it's more pointy. So it does help me with, when I'm making it incisions in, in game. And I've gutted ground scrolls, catfish, carp. So this this blade, it's, I've already had it for a good six months. I will in time make a review on it, but I'm gonna wait about, almost to it's about a year. What else is an upgrade here? The handles, my Carta handles. So another thing that I didn't like about this one that I learned is the walnut scales are beautiful. They look really, you know, old world, really old fashioned. But wood is an organic material that requires a lot of maintenance. You know, it's organic, you can you can mess it up. So with this, it looks wooden, but honestly, it's, just, it's a modern day luxury and it just helps me out, my Carta. You know, just, it's just more versatile. Okay, Coke bottle design, the handle. Now, what I didn't really like and I still kind of still, still getting used to, it's a bit slick for my taste. I'm used to more as you know, the more rubbery feel you know, when I'm doing hard work. This feels a little slick to me, but I'm getting used to it, but love this blade. So this is my upgrade right here. So as you can tell, this is my knife I had last year. This is the knife I have now. Once again, update in every sense of the word. Here's the sheath. I'm not gonna remove it. Um, it's the basic one that comes with all L2 right knives. I just removed, I cut off the ferro rod holster, the holder. I really don't, I don't see the point of having this. I don't like to have all my stuff in one. You know, like the old saying says, don't keep all your eggs in one basket. Same thing, I just like to keep my knife on the sheath and that's it. My ferro rods are elsewhere. So if, if I lose one, I have the other tool. If I lose everything that's being piggybacked together, I'm screwed. So, beautiful sheath. I removed the dangler system. It comes with the dangler system. I do not like dangler system. I know I'm in the minority there, but very similar. Okay. So, moving on from the knife. I know I got a little excited there. What else do I have here? Uh, my boots. I still have a lighter, emergency lighter. And there's times when just the weather's really bad or you could be injured. Sometimes you just need that little cheat when you're outdoors and the ferro rods, the you know, the flint rocks aren't gonna do some help during a hurry. A lighter always comes in handy. Orange for higher visibility. And over here, I have my boot knife. Now, I always carry a boot knife. A lot of guys like neck knives. I don't. I prefer to have my ferro rod on me because if I was in a survival situation and I lost everything, I'd rather lose my knife than lose my ferro rod. You know, everyone's going to disagree with me, but it's my theory. You know, you can lose your knife and still find a sharp rock. Our ancestors were using bone and, you know, things like that, quartz. But... This just, it's just a lot easier. You could just use broken glass or sharp rock to strike a ferro rod. So I like that on my neck. I don't like neck knives, but I do like a boot knife. 
So in case I was to lose this, for whatever reason I was to lose this, I have the Mora Classic 1. And this has done a lot of skinning, a lot of carving. So just my little backup blade there. And because it's a boot knife, I can afford to have it a little bigger. So other knife here with the Self-Reliance Outfitter sheath because the sheath that comes with this knife is absolutely useless. I will say that. I love Mora's, but a lot of their sheaths are just plain useless. And that's about it, guys. That's this season's EDC. Hopefully next time you see me with an upgraded EDC, you probably won't see too much differences, but you might see me with the firearm because Texas is about to go open carry, and I'm really excited about that. So you might see me with my Ruger Mark III. I know it's not very powerful, but hey, it'll help me out when I'm outdoors. Or I might, I'm really considering a kel pistol. So we'll see. Okay guys, well that about wraps up this video. If you have any suggestions, any questions about my gear, anything you might want to want me to add or subtract, this looks a little top heavy, but it's really not because I have it all through, you know, distributed all throughout my body. It's not all in one place. So it's pretty good. I'm comfortable with this. Okay guys, well I'll let you go. And I'll be back with another video soon. Now go outside and get your bootstrap.